Well, it, it means already a lot just being here and playing, uh, being healthy to to play in front of in front of my people, and uh, I'm really glad to see that the draw is packed with the uh, Serbian players. Uh, all the best uh, men Serbian tennis players are here in this draw. And um, there's going to be some matchups definitely um, between us. Hopefully, I'll be able to play quarters against uh, one of the guys, either Jerry or Ketsmanovic, we'll see. Obviously, we, we, we both have to, we have to win, you know, I have to win one match, they have to win a couple of matches. So uh, if it comes to that, obviously, that would, be, that would be probably the first encounter that I ever had with uh, both Jerry or Ketsmanovic. I haven't played these guys so much and I haven't played Serbians too many times in general, you know, especially the, this, the, the next generation, you know, my generation, so to say, the one that I grew up with, Troitsky, Tipsarevic, you know, these guys, I, I faced them quite a lot on the tour, but, you know, these guys like Krajinovic, Lajovic, the, the, the leaders of the up-and-coming generation, uh, I, I, I didn't face too many times on the tour. So it would be quite uh, <laughs> different facing them here in Belgrade uh, on the court where we actually practice on together uh, with each other so many times in the past. But um, yeah, I'm sure that that we all want to win against each other. You know, we're all friends. We have respect for each other. We like each other. You know, we support each other and we, we give each other backing. And, you know, we want each other to do well on the tour. We come from the same country and we obviously have very good relationship on and off the court. But once you're facing each other, you're, you just see opposite of your side and that uh, you just see an opponent, a rival that you want to beat. And that's, that's, that's what it comes down to. Question. Uh, obviously, I, I get very, I get very emotional when I'm playing at home, when I'm, you know, representing my country in Davis Cup, ATP Cup, Olympic Games, in all the team competitions. Uh, as an individual athlete, I, you know, th those occasions where we play in the team, team competition are rare. So uh, some of the nicest memories playing at home were related to the Davis Cup, uh, but also playing in the Serbia Open. We had this tournament for four years from 2019 to 2012, uh, sorry, 2009 to 2012. And um, I won it two out of four years. And, and I remember, remember uh, these moments very, very profoundly, uh, playing in front of family, friends, uh, my people. It just, you don't get to experience that. I mean, I, 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 I only experienced that maybe a few times in my career, to actually play in my hometown, to actually play in front of my fans. To have that kind of support and backing, um, it's it's definitely special. Unfortunately, we will not be able to have fans this week. I think we are allowed only maybe up to several hundred or maybe up to five hundred, um, which is going to be nice. I mean, it's better than better than nothing, absolutely. Uh, but it is what it is, and and I I, I just um, I'm just trying to enjoy every single moment that I get to to to, to be in my country you know, with my family, my parents that I don't get to see so much nowadays, um, you know, with these restrictions and traveling and so forth. So it's, it just uh, brings in really uh, lots of uh, memories from the past, you know, of my upbringing, of the, of the roots, of how I started. Uh, this club where the tournament is played is, is the club where I used to play a lot when I was a kid, you know, the local tournaments. Um, I get to see many people that uh, have seen me develop into the tennis player that I am today and the person I am today. So it's just it's just very particular, uh, very unique feeling that I'm that I'm trying to to marvel on, so to say, and 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 feed off that energy so I can do the best as I possibly can this week. Years ago, when we uh, thought of it first and we started to record something uh, with Amazon, actually, and uh, they did follow me for, you know, uh, six months around the, around the world and made a lot of lot of material a lot of interviews a lot of footage um but we we did not uh release um any of owner of that footage we we decided that we're going to wait for some better moment when time arrives that uh, we can create something with that footage and you know we still were not sure that what what is um going to be so to say the 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 headline or or what's going to be the the storyline of, of that documentary. So uh, this documentary is linked to the uh, historic number one ranking uh, record and and a kind of a, a trajectory and uh, 
a way of that you know everything that happened in my career in my childhood on the way to actually reaching reaching that milestone so um it's still not done there is still a lot lot more work to do to to be done but uh we, we have recorded a lot and we're hoping that um you know august and september is something that we are aiming for to you know to release this documentary we're hoping that we'll be um finalizing that on time and that uh, maybe during us open that's i mean that's something that we we wish as a goal to 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 launch it there and uh hopefully people will be able to enjoy it and like it i i i i, I didn't hear the news so what, what you just uh, uh asked me uh, you know as as a comparison i don't know what it is about so i it's the first time i hear something i have to look into it but if it's a, a concept that would you know uh potentially uh enable us to play week in and week out uh that would be obviously pro probably exciting for the tennis fans i don't know how exciting it would be for us um you know playing playing each other every single week but uh i think tennis fans want to see the best quality tennis and best quality matches every single week so I'm 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 generally open-minded for the new formats for the changes and innovation in, in tennis i i feel like we have been from all the global sports and we have been one of the most popular most global sports um you know in in the world at the moment but also for, for many years and but we have been probably one of the most conservative sports in terms of uh the changes we haven't introduced too many changes uh it's starting now you know with uh, maybe the next gen finals and you know testing different scoring like playing best of 5 up to 4 games no ads and stuff like this um obviously I, I i you know i'm not saying that we should make completely new changes and just uh reinvent the wheel but uh i feel like we can and should look into the the improvements that when the betterments that we can make for the for the sake of uh the the sport we we did play uh rafa and i on the on the grand slam in australia obviously there are some tournaments like miami where you know we didn't play and we both played in monte carlo and we we lost earlier and then there was a new uh, new winner Tsitsipas that played against rublev that that beat rafa and you know which was um obviously something uh new to see usually you know rafa is so dominant on on, on clay he's always expected to win all the events that he plays on and uh I myself has have been experiencing this kind of expectations, you know, and pressure of being a you know top player for for quite quite some time, along with uh, with Rafa and Roger, and always always expected to go far in the tournaments. But I think it's good for uh, for our sport to to have um, you know winners, new winners, new faces uh, of, of you know that are clinching the titles at the biggest events. You know.